Hi, I'm Sean again, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, the limit as x approaches a negative 3 from the right, of x plus 2 over x squared plus 5x plus 6, and we're also given this graph. Now, the graph makes it a little easier to visualize what happens as x approaches negative 3 from the right. But let's go break it down algebraically and we'll see how the two compare. Well, this right here, I can see, well, the bottom part can factor. So we take the limit here as x approaches a negative 3 from the right, and we have an x plus 2 in the numerator. The denominator will factor to be an x plus 3 times an x plus 2. Notice that the x plus 2s will cancel. And so this limit, again, the limit as x approaches negative 3 from the right, can be written as 1 over x plus 3. Now we know we can't take or just plug directly in negative 3 in for x. We'll be dividing by 0 here, clearly. And that's seen with the asymptote there on our graph. But how can we interpret what we see in the graph versus finding it algebraically here? Well, we look at this negative 3, right, and we're approaching it from the right. So I like to pick a value, right, just to the right of negative 3 and see if this denominator is, well, positive or negative. We know the denominator is approaching, well, 0, which 1 over 0 kind of gives us that asymptote to a positive infinity or negative infinity. So right here, I'm going to say, what happens if I put, let's say, a negative this is not really equal to, so I'm going to do this, not really equal to. But we take that 1 over, and instead of x being negative 3, let's try a negative 2.9 plus 3. All right, when I put that into our little x value, this denominator is equal to, well, a positive really number. That's really what I'm looking for. It's going to be positive still in the denominator as it gets closer and closer to 0. What does that tell us? That tells us that we're actually approaching a positive infinity when we approach negative 3 from the right. So we have positive infinity right here. And so we can see in the graph here, as we approach negative 3 from the right, we're going to a positive infinity. And so our limit here and the final answer is a positive infinity. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.